Okay, we should be live soon. It's not live yet. Well, it'll take a few seconds to come through. We're live. Oh, good. And welcome to Warband Battle Stream. It's been quite a while. Uh, today we'll be looking at the NC match for Bene vs UK. There are quite a few players from our clan on either side. Yeah. Well, I suppose, I suppose actually only Rue actually on Bene at the moment because Beardface has gone away. I wonder if he's going to show up. Well, we'll find out about that, won't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's not live, is it? Nope, not started yet. <coughs> Just watching the players muck about on the server. So, we'll be doing the three maps as usual now. So, we've got uh, Revan Village with Nords v Sarinids at first, and then followed over afterwards by uh, Sandy Bush. And then we've got uh, Winterberg as a tiebreaker. Should be mm. great. Some good maps. So, who, how do you think it's going to go down on Revan then? With. Uh, nor to be Sarinid, so with uh, Benny vs UK. Um, I think uh, I think it's gonna. It's not. I don't think it's gonna play out to the faction's favor. Really, I think it's gonna be completely hanging on the team, the skill level, and the different class setups. Yeah. I do think yeah. Bene looks stronger on this map. Yeah, um, I think. I think potentially Bene has better support players. So infant yeah. cat. Uh, sorry. Uh, Cavern Archers? Cavern Archers, yeah, definitely. So, they should be able to do alright on here, but this map does favour infantry more than open many open maps, so... It yeah. does. But, like, what I think is there's so many places to put Archers, and there's Cav, can you just go from one side to the other and come back? And, like I said, Bene has great shooters and great Cav. Yeah, I mean, I'd say it's Pretty even. I mean, Sarinids, their cabin is amazing, very maneuverable, ugh, very maneuverable, but yeah. uh, not very tough. And the Nords aren't no, exactly yeah. tough as Cav either, since they often have to take no, no armor. Get the, get the tunic. Yeah. Yeah, I think in faction wise, I do, I do favor Nords over Sarinids. Because uh, Nords get the get the jab drops and can just can just like demolish certain horses so good. Yeah, yeah, true. I don't know if they have much chance to use him on this map though. There's not a lot of open space to chase the horses around or anything. No, no, but I'm thinking about the infantry and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You you can use like two jabs almost and it's done and like one jab in the head. If it's incoming in a great speed, then it's done for. Yeah, there's a lot of um, bants going down earlier. Oh, yeah? Between UK players and. Uh, what do you call it? Bene players on TeamSpeak. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. The Roo has promised to headshot Deacon Barry. Deacon saying that no one can beat him. So we'll see how that goes. Bit yeah, of a grudge match. Wasn't banned on the on the horse and sword as well. You didn't see that, did you? No, I didn't see that. No, that wasn't banned. There was cleric and deacon were tweeting to lost them right in, in chat. Also, it was was good, yeah. Can't remember the exact sentences, but it's a mad ban. Should go back and watch the replay on NBA TV. I, don't, I, th I think it's going to be relatively even in terms of the factions. And of course, the map's yeah. relatively even anyway. Uh, yeah, possibly oh, yeah. the Nord faction, Nord side, see, probably has slightly better options for being aggressive. But other than that, it's relatively even map. Nord spawned in the stable, am I right? Yeah. 
stable yeah. area with a little bar barricade. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can it. I reckon it's pretty hard to camp that side of the map. Well, it's not hard, but the camping favors Siren and Spawn a great deal, doesn't it, really? Uh, I'd say the camping favors Nord Spawn, really. really. You think so? Yeah, that's the stable right. side. Because you can just spread out and like, you can get the positions and the stables and the palisade and the windmill and all that sort of stuff. It makes it very hard to push um, yeah, yeah, you're effectively. Right about that, yeah. Well, I mean, Sarenid's gonna get the church and the, the bunker on the right. Yeah, but you can't have church and bunker, you can have one or the other, really. If you mm -hmm. take one, if you take both of them, then you're gonna get, um, sort of, beaten on one side. Fair enough. You're the tactical genius on that, so... Yeah, I, I just agree with you on that, whatever you say. So, these guys going live in a... soon? I think so. Can only hope. I, know, I reckon both teams like fucking around before as well. It seems to be. The experience I have with Ben is that they only fuck around. <laughs> That's some I'm sort of them. Uh, resentment there. I've played against them since NC 2000 and or was it 12 or 13 when it was this ma match that got like huge views. Is that the one where you ran around the whole of North Town? Yeah, when I chased around Techno Viking for the whole map and then got like destroyed by their whole team when he finally arrived. Yeah. I think they could replace you in a bot in that situation. With a bot even. No, bots can do that. Bots can do that as well, but chasing things around. Yeah, I know. No, I was a new player then. I was a new, <laughs> new, new player then. <laughs> that wasn't good. Still aren't you? Mm. You're a funny man. Sorry. Oh, beard face yeah, has really arrived. Yeah, the mighty beard face. Bird face and bread face and whatever you call him. <laughs> he likes it when people call him bird face. Yeah, you should do that. Everyone should do that. I recall E-Man calling him bird face in a stream once. You appreciate it, so you're thankful. Yeah. Yeah, well, well. So now all... every teams have all their players, but Bene has TS problems apparently. Yeah, that can be annoying. <laughs> In a match back in the ECS, we had Teamspeak problems ourselves, and like ended up oh. like without Teamspeak for two, well, two or three rounds. I think it was versus IG. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. It can be a frustrating. We played on a totally different TS server for our, all our other matches, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. So I'll be having a look at the drops as well, what teams are trying to do. They're probably not doing them properly yet. But usually wanting like uh, shield drops on either of the factions here. For the archers. Yeah, no. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. I reckon we're gonna be seeing uh, a lot of shit talking chat. Could be. Yeah. yeah. What are your predictions for what fact classes they're gonna be using? Because right now Bene is rolling uh, three infantry, three archers, two cavalry. Seems about right, yeah. I think that's what they're gonna be using. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me at all. They have, they have sick, sick archers, like some of the best. Yeah. Like they yeah. got <coughs> Leru, of course. Like one of the best archers in the game, Attila, um, Caius. I know nope. Tommy Boy is a good archer, but I think he's gonna play play Cap. We seem to be on. starting. <laughs> yep. Yeah. There we go. So the streamer settings. If I would have taken a time to install the streamer mod, I could um, shout yeah. out the classes very fast, but now I haven't, so you have to do it. There we go. So, Benny have gone with three infantry and two cavalry. Yeah. Uh, UK going with two archers and three infantry, three cavalry. Mm. UK team no, seems to be moving into the church area while Benny have pushed out uh, on Captain their left flank. Captain Lost taking a hit already. 
foot shot. Oh dear. So Benny have gone aggressive, and UK seems to be going to the church. The church is a bit of an odd position. Mm. It's very awkward, the church, because you've got such open ground around it on either side. They can be difficult to push out from. You have Crazy Boy and Lust going out so far right here. I don't yeah. know what they're yeah. doing with this. I reckon you're just going to get Lust into a good shooting position. Oh yeah, they're quite split, aren't they? It'll be yeah. diff difficult to push them there, though. But I'm not yeah. sure what it really gets them. I mean, they're quite far away from any of the flags. Yeah, I have no idea. You just want to be peppering the cab, I guess, with arrows. That's what it looks like right now. Bene just sort of sheltering. Not taking yeah. any risks. <laughs> they have all the time in the world now. Or 20 seconds to be exact. Yeah. Even though Lust got shot, he's not that badly injured, really. About to Down to about 70% health. I don't have a health bar, so... Yeah, I can. I mean, it's kind of demoralizing, demoralizing to get shot in the foot, like, what was it, like 20 seconds into the round? Yeah. The Not minimap really is so point. zoomed out, you <laughs> can hardly see anything, because pet players are so far uh, so far on each side of the map. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flag's coming from the middle. Uh, looks like Benny are just going to go straight for the flag. Should spread out now. Yeah. Possibly vulnerable to yeah. being flanked by uh, Lust and Crazy Borden. Could be, could be, but I reckon they're gonna take pretty good positions here. They have have an archer up at the fence. Caius. Oh, team kill from Attila. Not a good start. It's what? It's what play right in the head. That's first round okay. jitters. He was cab, right? Uh, yeah, he was. So Benno is yeah. down to one cab. That's not good. Black Tide. Shall we now? Nice shot. Besom Steel also injured. Yeah, they're I mean, getting the they get, up though. They yeah, it's up high. Yeah. UK will have to do UK something soon. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're going there. They're coming. They're coming. They're taking the oomph. Crazy boy. Go down Sassy straight away. Yeah. Oh, Beardface goes <laughs> down. It's a nice shot from uh, yeah. Glorious Leader. Deacon takes out Seesaw. Looks like it's going to be a UK yeah. round. Looks like it. LaRue taking out Black Tide, lost the cab there. There's only 40 seconds left, but I don't think that'd be enough. Rue could otherwise mm -hmm. hold the flag, maybe, but... Yeah, let's see if Caius and LaRue can do it. They're both talented melee and shooters, but it's just too much in it. Yeah. Getting bumped that by Corey. UK round. I think that I think that team kill was pretty critical there, because... I mean, they're already only on 2 cav, which is quite low, really, for this map. Yeah. And yeah, it wasn't great. I th you can't lose another cab like that. It's one cab versus three. Just isn't going to be easy. Yeah, no, no, it's it's not good, is it? Lots of drops going on. Free X, Nord spawn. I think, to be honest, the three cav, uh, two archer build is probably better. That's you, the one that UK is uh, taking. I'm not saying that because I'm from the UK. That? But it's, it's, I just don't think there's the positions. It's not easy to get three archer positions and use them well on this map. So, mm, I, th I, I think three know. cav are going to be more effective than three archers will be. I don't know. I don't know, I, I'm not really... like. I know we're talking about high skill archers in this match. Like, every archer here is, like, godlike. Yeah, but I mean, they can't shoot past shields, generally. Well, some of them can, no. but... Oh, yeah, it looks like Bene are going to be a bit more aggressive it. this time. Yeah, charge now. Yeah, UK have got a good split though. It's going to be difficult to get over to where they are. Quite unusual yeah. to use that bit of the map, actually. Most of the uh, m most matches tend to result revolve around the bunker where Benny is now, the church, and sort of all the houses in between. But exactly, usually just waiting for flag if something else happens in it. Yeah, you can you can be aggressive on this map. Yeah, I know we've done that a couple of times, being aggressive on this map. Good strat. Yeah. Shots being fired at Captain Lust. Picking yeah. up them arrows. I don't. A lot of fire there. <laughs> Shouldn't really have anything happen from that though. No. I don't know if it's Captain Lust's or UK's fault being out in that position or if it's just Ben being stupid and wasting arrows. Yeah. I mean, they've got Attila on the right and they've got Kaius back at the bunker, but. I mean, Kaius and. 
Rue are basically firing from the same position, so they're not going to be doing much. No, well. No, you're right about that. Well, well I mean, they'll do as much as one, uh, one Archer would do, but. Yeah. When literally in Kai's, there was like a 50% chance the arrow is going to hit your foot under your shield. That's what I feel. Black spawn in the middle again. Yep. This didn't work out well for Bene last time, so. I wonder if they're going to do anything different. No, Sitting no. on the flag really isn't the best of yeah, plans. It's not, really, no, it's not great. They should flush out UK. Ooh, nice little bump stab Leroux from Black Tide there. Leroux is under pressure here. He's going to go down. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, UK are just working on taking out the uh, perimeter of the Bene team, yeah. where while well, the rest of the Bene team just sort of sits <laughs> in the middle. They got their inf charging against the archers. Having said that, Caius and Besom still, they're getting some kills on the UK now. Deacon can takes out Attila. Emmy Corey. Oh, beard face. Team kills two star with a job. 5v4 now. Ooh! Deacon with a beautiful job. Clutch javelin there. Captain Lust shoots out Tommy boy. Beard face and quite a bit of trouble now. Yeah, beard only Kaius left. Beard face getting destroyed by Deacon at the moment. See if he can take it back. Oh, you got Cab coming. Nah, uh, this isn't finable with it. Oof. Nice jump there. No, it no. goes down. Yeah. So that's two to the UK. I think the really the thing that's been killing the Bene team so far is just sitting on that flag. You know, I mean. Yeah, it's not a good idea. It's great that they got the flag, but, but yeah. you're not gaining anything by sitting on it. You have to beat yeah, the other it team. Work. It would work if UK were just going on to the flag with their infantry. Then it, it would work, but that's not what they're doing. They need to adapt to Bene does. Yeah, UK just rolling up their archers and they they yeah, got exactly. they had some losses there. I think UK did there. I'm not entirely sure how the yeah. all always went down, but they won the round nonetheless. And Bene seems to go on with another strategy now, going to church. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought this worked out would work out very well because they haven't got any way to like stop um, uh, UK from just retreating like they are doing. Yeah, exactly. So now Bene is just sort of stuck at the church. Yeah, see how this plays out. I guess they got the church now if that's what they want to have. Yeah, church doesn't tend to be very useful though. But we got Captain Lost and Crazy Boy going up behind them. Captain Lost already got shot off on the roof. Where's that? It's uh, they're at the middle. Oh yes. Creeping up behind them, yeah. They're surrounding. Yeah, so they're playing it very kite UK. Yeah, ooh. Tommy Boy almost got caught by a bamboo spear then. And they managed to get Watley. I don't know if Watley will be able to get out of that. Nope, he's dismounted. Yeah. He's going down. In a second, yeah. There go. And so Bene team's now stuck in sort of like awkward position over here. They really need to like... It's good they're being aggressive, but you can't just be blindly aggressive without the ability to like stop your opponent from running away, because... No, exactly. You're you just going to get plan. led by the nose. Yeah, yeah, you need to have a plan. Or at least they change things up. I know that's what Lust always complains about in his streams. <laughs> if things don't change it up, they're doing it wrong. Yeah. They could really use the three cav though, I think. Because if you are being aggressive, cav are going to be a lot more useful in, like, you know, in stopping, in yeah, punishing the other teams. Yeah, exactly. compared to archers. Yeah. Benny going for the flag again, by the looks. Yeah. They. UK got a good spread here. They're just going to surround them now. Let's see what Bene does. Yeah, I seem to be retreating back to the church. Some bizarre fight on the church happening for some reason. Yeah. Black Tide takes out Tommy Boy with a couch line, so that's one, two caps down for Bene. That's it then. They're not yeah. going to be able to do this. Nope. Is there a fight coming now? Kind of funny. I'm actually kind of surprised it's going down like this, because I expected Bene to be stronger on this map. Yeah, me too, actually, yeah. We'll have to see if, fa if, if faction balance is working in UK's favour or not. Right now, you can see Deaconberry putting in so much work. You want this kill, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's been meat grinding, he's been holding off this team now. Didn't expect him to do this well. Yeah, so I mean. I think Bene could actually do with just being more defensive and like not letting UK surround them like this. 
If they're going to take yeah, these three archers, that, that's... Oh, they've gone four infantry now. This... I'm not sure this is going to work. <laughs> We're about to find out. I'm not sure this is going to work. We'll see what the UK does. Bunker. All of them. Caesar leading the charge. What is UK doing? Backing off. Taking it easy. Just running about. Caesar's going to love jabs. UK is madly spread out here. Yeah, but they don't, I don't think they're very used to punish. Bene is just walking out one direction. Every player walking out one direction. Watley is going to be in trouble here if he does this. Yeah, we got Watley and Tommy Boy harassing Lust and Crazy Boy. But UK Cav is quick to chase him off. Bene infantry getting pretty close, and you guys actually managed to back themselves in a bit of a corner here, actually. Yeah. Maybe that's so, a very loud thing, wasn't that? Yeah. They need to make some decisions quick because they're going to be able to. They're going to have to stop running soon. Yeah, we're oh. backed up against mm -hmm. the map edge. Benny sort of wandered off to try to take these cavalry or something. Yeah, I have no idea. They've backed off now. <laughs> I, I don't understand why they've done that. This. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, yeah. Our glorious leader, <laughs> head shooting everyone. Black Tide putting in work. Having everything. Yeah. This is a UK round again. Yeah, I mean. <coughs> well, I've said it all already. No point in repeating it. I'll have to see if they can switch it up on Serenids. Or if maybe the faction will work better for them. Or the positions. But. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think he, uh, even if you had wanted to be aggressive, uh, with UK playing like that, there's not much you can really do against it. So all you can really do is sort of take positions and sort of match them. It, it looked kind of like uh, UK was about to go down there where they was pushed against the map edge. Yeah. But I mean, all that armor, all that, all that motivation to just win another round, I guess, just, just drove them. Yep. So I assume we're not live. I assume so as well. UK only seven, 6 versus 7 if it was. Only yeah. So that was a pretty comprehensive first set. And I expected yeah. it to be a lot closer than that. And I have to put it down. I, I, I think I think the Bene just needs to like stop being so aggressive and going after them. This is a very camp like kitey map. You got all the cover, you got the space, you can get away from people. So hopefully we'll see you just have Bene calm down and just sort of take things a bit easier. But UK's been playing it pretty well so far. Yeah, they have yeah. See if it if it is the faction that favours or if it actually is the team. Yeah. I don't know that. I'd say it's pretty close in terms of faction strength. I mean, archers are pretty similar. Cav both have sort of weaknesses. And yeah, I mean, infantry Nords are potentially a bit better. But then again, the Sarenid infantry have the long bamboo spear, which is quite useful on open maps. Yeah, exactly. Does so little damage though. Yeah, but just for stopping horses, it's so yeah, effective. Exactly. Yeah, you you can do work with it. You can't kill anything, but you can stop horses. Yeah, exactly. And then, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's good. It's good. I have to say, I do prefer this version compared to the one that's on IG Battlegrounds at the moment as well. The original version of Reverend. No, they, they've yeah. added like loads of new obstacles, haven't they? Yeah, I know. Archer did. Kind of my deed. I harassed Archer about. About editing them up. <laughs> Mainly because I got sick of that stable camping spot when they put like 20 archers up in there. That's still there though, isn't it? Well, it's not. You can't. I don't think you can shoot over there anymore. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think you should change the map when it's like been around there for that long. You know, if it's already established. 
Well, I say that. A modified uh, vendetta, so. Dunno. Maybe I'm just a hypocrite. Mm. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You seem a bit like a hypocrite to me. <laughs> Yeah, now we're waiting in 10 minutes. So they go live. Yeah, the referee system, that's supposed to be like make things go a bit faster, isn't it? I don't yeah. know don't if it does. Duke and I haven't been putting in much work, have you? <laughs> Need to put the fire on these, on these guys. Yeah. Deacon requests if UK win that we call him in for an interview. <laughs> we'll have to. Are we gonna do that? I think we will, yeah. yeah Alright. Interviews are all the rage now, this. Yeah. yeah. It's common sense and it's mandatory. I wonder who we call in if Ben is. I don't want anyone from our clan. <laughs> I'm sure Benny can nominate someone. So I don't know, a strong start from UK. Yeah. 4-0. And I have to say that this this the Nord side of the map is not gonna make any harder for them. It's gonna be just as easy for them to like have that uh, two three split and sort of sit back. Could be, yeah, yeah. And with all the space in the map it's not gonna be very easy for like Ben A to just rush after them and punish them for that. I mean, potentially you can, but it can be difficult. Yeah, well, yeah, I, but as I said, I don't know much about tactics, and you know that, so I'm not gonna make up a bunch of shit to sound cool. <laughs> well, there's, there's splits like that where you got, like, um, rangers being protected by the infantry are quite old fashioned, actually. I yeah, think they used to be used quite a lot um, back in 2011 and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's Captain Lost playing in it. <laughs> they, they kind of felt favour because you, you can like get an archer. The only thing you're really doing the split for is to get the archers. And so if you if you play maps in certain ways, you can get archers split up anyway without the infantry needing to protect them. So you can get your infantry grouped up for a nice big strong push. But the problem with them having their infantry split up like that is that they can't do any strong pushes. They have to just stay back. Okay, looks like we're live. Is it live? Yeah. No UK, we're ready. Alright, yeah. So what's the setup? Is it the same? Uh, yep. Sorting out streamer settings. There we go. And we're back. So, yep. Yeah. Uh. No, Bene switched up to have only two infantry instead of three, yeah. and UK has yeah UK stuck with the same. Bene looking very spread out this time. Yeah, yeah that goes. UK just sort of holding the three houses. Reasonable tactic, I'd say. Well, they got kind of mandatory. Lust and crazy boy pushing on the left, so they're they're the kind of doing the same thing. Yeah. LaRue and Beardo are uh, hanging about in the bunker. But they're looking a bit isolated Great actually. Point. No, they're Lost okay. Deep in enemy territory right now. Yeah, Black Tide almost uh, <laughs> managed to jab there. Yeah. Jab through there, but he yeah. takes a bit of damage for it. Yeah, it's a bold move. <coughs> Tommy it's taking quite a lot of damage here. Ooh, and Black Tide gets taken out. You Long range. Headshot there. Long range. LaRue is going to look for other headshots now. And Crazy Boy hanging out on a bump stab. Yeah, it's just a bit overwhelmed there. Yeah, I don't think that was a brilliant move going out there. Yeah, I think they put a bit off a bit more than they could chew at that position. Yeah, yeah they went in so deep. They could have done just staying at the at the rocks. Looks like Ben is shifting across. Don't know if they're trying to regroup or something. 
And Deacon Barry asks for familiar. jewels. <laughs> First to one. Yeah. So we've got flags coming up in the middle again. Uh, this time Falms has gone the flag. Oh. Let's try and get it up. Falms taking two foot shots. Yeah, not really worth it for that flag. Three. UK team sort of just hanging back. Neither team going on the flag with us. Caesar coming in trying to get Falms in the back, but misses. And both teams are being very timid with this. Yeah. I mean, what they want to be doing at this point is like pushing around the side, and that's exactly what Benny are doing, actually. Got Larue yeah, and Beardo yeah, trying really to well push. Now. I mean, there's only a minute left, UK, minute 10. UK has one in from one cab down. Chicken trying to attack the roo, but that yeah. might be quite difficult with that fence there. Captain lost getting harassed. <laughs> and Benny had finally decided to go on the flag. Yeah, and they're raising that flag. I mean, they, had an they have an advantage, it's 8v6, so I guess they can afford yeah. to. Put some pressure on UK. Corey looks Looks, dead. Looks like a dead man walking. UK right pushing in. towards Rue though, and Ben looking a bit outnumbered in here. Ben is. is come back strong. Oh, yep. Yeah. They are. Caesar kills Falms. This can be clean. No, it's not going to be clean sweep. So I don't think it's affections. Right. <laughs> I think it's just the way they're hey, playing. <laughs> nah, Ben were playing that a bit smarter, I think. Yeah, they. They did real good. UK were doing the same, but they just took a bit off it more than they can bit off a bit more than they can chew and that's uh first yeah. little engagement. It's just difficult to recover from that. I mean losing a cav and an infantry it's hard to recover from that if you It's crucial, yeah. See if UK's gonna do anything different. You would hope so, but you got lost in Crazy Boy on the left flank again. Oh, I don't think they did anything really that bad. It's just they went a bit Hopefully. too far. Got got out, but Ben A just sort of sitting back. Looks like we're in for a wait for the flags then. <coughs> so let's hope it comes up somewhere other than the middle this time. Yeah, would be as It'd much be great to see some <laughs> diversion. <laughs> as much as I love to see four round, four uh, minutes of uh, people standing around shooting each other. Mm. Well, that's warband, isn't it? Yeah. It's warband competitive. I'm just trying to take pot shots at the cavalry. Falms bravely attacking that wall. I don't know what the wall's done to him. So I need the team making any early moves. Oh, no, maybe they are. I speak too soon. The ruined beard face. Pushing over. I guess this is part of some sort of pre flag push. Yeah. And the flag spawn in <laughs> I think it's broken. It looks broken. But UK have got eight players this time, so we'll have to see how it goes. Uh they're pushing yeah. heavily on the their left on side. Left. Yeah. We were, now they seem to have gone gone back again. Crazy boy going solo. <laughs> Ooh, Caesar goes down. Let's get a couch lens. Black Tide, cheeky cowfarms. Black Tide does him does him in behind the stables. Is that how it went? Well, that's how it went down. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. Some skirmishing going on. Benny seems to want to be getting the flag, but I don't think it's the right time for that yet. Uh, you're closing in on it. You got Deacon on the flag now. Start raising it. Falms taken by surprise by Besom still. Uh. Gets hit back though. And Besom Steel's kind of looking at number now. Oh, Falms goes down to a nice jab though from uh, Beardface. Well, his horse goes down. 
black tide job in. Um, ben A team's looking a bit spread out now. I think they've lost a fair few of their cav. Don't think they have any cav left actually. Any cav left? No. Beacon is gonna square off against Wolf and Beard face on the flag now, by the looks of it. Uh, <laughs> what that goes down. Bomb from Yukori, in the meantime, shot by mm. This is just. Squ They're just squaring off here. Uru. Shot by Dr. Pepper. Let's use that tiller left. Yeah. Ben A team. Yeah. So that did not go down well for Ben A there. No, I, I didn't really. I don't really know what they were doing wrong. Well, they did lose um, that cav early on, didn't they? Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah. They, they do have three, though, so that shouldn't have been too bad. Mm. So, Benny really wants to get the 3 1 now. But it's going to be hard because I think. I don't know how their cavalry are. Nord's. Chicken still has only uh, blue armor. So does Black Tide. And so it's Cory, so they haven't managed to armor up. No, no, Chicken doesn't have a kill yet. Or Bambino. Because I mean, that's the big and problem Black with Tide the is. Nord cavalry. Yeah. He's so vulnerable. It's like it's, you get stopped or anything, you just headshot or something hits yeah. you, it's like you're dead. Yeah, especially like these archers as well, so good at hitting that. Like, Cav is lucky, really. Nord Cav is lucky that they have that 360 magnetic Cav shield. They soaks up arrows from behind. <laughs> I don't think the uh, invisible cap shields work against ranged weapons, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. No, no, they don't. Because sure. yeah, people switch to javelins to actually throw past it, right? Because they can't hit past it, stupidly enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Bene is pushing out towards a windmill, taking a few yeah. hits there, though. Brave move. Yeah. UK seems to be happy to let him have it. Yeah, just Black Tide and Bambino having a little staring contest. I mean, it, away now. It, it's another one that's isolated positions though. I mean, you can put an archer up there, but it's not exactly a good position to put your infantry on. And yeah, it, um, like, if the flag spawns in the middle again, which it probably will do, that position will become pretty much useless, and then they have to move. Yeah, UK moving in, pushing Benny out of the, wind, of the church area now. So, Bene sort of run themselves into a corner here. Yeah. Oh, there's one flag spawn in the middle. Hmm, maybe it is broken. Maybe it is broken. If you ask Captain Lost, he wouldn't, wouldn't admit it, but it certainly looks broken by this point. Well, he just misses a couch there. He's yeah, killed for it. Yeah, he not punish him. Bene Rangers now. Take Even out Chicken. Worse. Yeah. It's Luru and Kai is in the same position, but Good they're not doing much down here. Crazy one Black Tide getting some kills there. Yeah. While the Bene Archers are standing, shooting, and do nothing by the looks of it. Caesar jabs Black Tide and goes down. Probably one shot, one surprise. Yeah, I mean, they're getting kills, but it's. These positions where Kaius and Ru are aren't really that yeah, mutually supporting. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're just sort of sitting there and watching the flag go up at this point. Yeah. But yeah, but exactly. They're outnumbered three to six. So. Yeah, right now it's not much they could do. They could have been more helpful early on though in the fight. The only good news is that only Corey has his uh, is still alive as a cavalry. I mean, you can't get war horses more to begin armor, it's so useful. Ooh, nice little kill from uh, Caesar there before he goes down. Taking out Dr. Pepper. Only the Rue remains. Yeah, and there we go. What's the flag? Rue just trying to stay alive. Oh no! Captain Lust. Captain Lust, Team Gil's crazy boy. Yeah. Bit of eager to get the last kill, I guess. He's too greedy. Yeah, too greedy. Can't be that greedy. He's gonna team kill, aren't you? Yeah. 
Both Cory and uh, Chicken have managed to get armor now, though. Great, it's gonna serve them well. We got two Nords in mail as well. And Bay are going aggressive by the looks of it. I don't think this is gonna work. Mm. The UK positions, I think they'll be too yeah. good. Yeah, it looks. They got Captain Lost and Crazy Boy as usual out on left. Literally is trying to flank around. Let's get some shots off. Then a cab going down. Tommy Boy dismounted. Yeah. On top of Lost and Crazy Boy. And Deacon now. It's not, it's not what you want to. It's not what you want to be dismounted on. Well, they got an extra guy on the ground now, though. Oh. Crazy Boy goes down. Oh. And Captain Lust. <laughs> Tommy go Boy goes down. Yeah. So there's Deacon. Mm, and like the UK Cav is just fighting its own now. Watley goes down, so is Corey. Oh, oh didn't need that. that. And it looks like it's going to be a Ben A round, quite heavily. Yeah. So that aggression worked out for them. There you go. Maybe they, maybe they took UK by surprise, but I doubt it. Would have seen them from across the map. Well, they seem to be able to catch up on um, Crazy Boy and Lust, didn't they? And then the cavalry yeah, got drawn in, so. That's Pepper trying to get kills. Yeah, I think nice it'll be too blocking. late. Doing a nice work blocking, though. Yeah, he's safe now. So, a bit better for Benny in the second set, but still, they're quite far behind now. 6 2. 6 2, yeah. Going into Sandy Bush. Yeah. And Sandy Bush is quite a heavy infantry map, although it does do well for Rangers as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So, it does. What's, the, what's the factions on Sandy Bush? Uh, it's going to be Vegas versus Roddicks, I believe. Alright, so we have crossbows. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I don't know. I'd say... I'd say that the UK have stronger infantry, but, like, close-range crossbow in LeRoux is... Deadly as fuck. Yeah. Don't want to get in between the room and what he's shooting at currently. And at least that Deacon as a uh, streamer there. So used to the old <laughs> days of having to have a streamer. <laughs> How do you reckon? I reckon this will play. Um, I mean, it does once again come down a lot to tactics, but I think it's going to be difficult for um, for Benet to really match the UK in terms of melee skill. I don't know. I think Deacon's going to be really hard to deal with. Them. He he proven himself uh, on Reverend. Yeah, we could yeah, yeah. we we saw on that it was like he was rushing forwards, getting yeah, yeah. just being really aggressive. Kills, so. Yeah, he did a lot of work. Plus, if Black Tide plays infantry, he has good infantry, and he can do loads of work on these players. I think. Yeah. However, I mean, it depends how UK plays it because the tactics they were using on that map back there were quite effective. You know, I mean, there's it's basically just sitting back, sort of being safe, and sort of getting a bit of a split going on. Yeah, but you're quite vulnerable yeah. to like being pushed. Uh, well, you weren't vulnerable to being pushed, but you're, like you didn't have much pushing power yourself doing that. Um, uh, so we'll have to see how they do here. If they do splits like that, that could be really bad because getting split up like that is just not a good idea on a closed map like this, where you can quickly have a massive group of infantry just no, descend exactly. on you and crush you. Exactly, the map is small enough for you to get your whole team on like a little group. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. I suspect if Lost and Crazy Boys play, they're gonna go as a little group again. That's just what I suspect. Yeah. I mean, wow, it's amazing how much darker the graveyard is. <laughs> I've got shadows on because I'm streaming. And oh, yeah, yeah. I, it's amazing. It's like, it's usually really bright. I'm so yeah, unused yeah, to it being dark like this. It's really bright on my screen. 
horrid shadows. I should probably turn the graphics up, but I won't do that now. Yeah. It's good for streaming purposes. Gives it a bit more aesthetics. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, the map often revolves around the graveyard, with the team that spawns next to graveyard often wanting to take it. Yeah. Um, I mean, In this case, the there's also the alleys as well, which is often a place clans go to. I can't say I really like the alleys myself very much, but a lot of clans do do like use that as a defensive position if they can't get graveyard, especially. Yeah, you're right. You're right. If if the flag is hexed on this map as well, and we got flags coming up in the middle all the time, this could go interesting. Yeah, not sure what's up with that. Why the flags are spawning like that? No, I don't know. It might just be a coincidence. Could yeah, you looked at the codes, haven't you? So you know that it's completely random. Uh yeah, the spawn time should be random. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. I don't know why anyone would have modified anything. So. <clears throat> yep, unfortunately people, if you believe that like your position in the map like changes the uh, place that the I flag spawns at, spawns yeah you don't, you're irrelevant, the game doesn't care about yeah. you. Not true. <laughs> Stop telling your people lies. Got Mitchell coming in now, I don't, was he there in the uh, previous map? I don't remember seeing um, him. I don't think he was. He wasn't playing, that's for sure. I'm not sure if it was in spec or not. Got Abelson as well. Well, I don't think he was there. Yeah. And Osiris. Yeah, Probably gonna come in as an infantry, both of them. Osiris and Mitchell. Yeah, it looks like our glorious leader and uh, Dr. Pepper have gone out, along with Chicken. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think. I uh, yeah. I don't know, Aborsen, I don't know if he's gonna play Ranger or Infantry. Cause he's, like, he's skilled at both. Um, Chicken probably gone out because someone else is gonna play Cab. I guess we're gonna see now. Yep, it's live, I'll just have to sort out the stream of things. Sorry. Yeah. So if you could just say what's happening, I'm sorting this out. Yeah, damn you Cory gone cab, Aster Cav, I suspected. Um I bore someone playing Archer for UK. Um so it's, uh, UK taking a lot of infantry, only taking two archers. Yeah, it seems heavy. So they should be going aggressive with this. Bene taking the more standard four infantry, three archers. They also taking the graveyard. Yeah, I mean, it really depends how they play this, because graveyards can be a very nice defensive position if you use it right. But um, oh, what's Bene doing over there? They got some massive split going on. This well, Bene uh, is pushing around their side, but UK have all grouped up. Yeah, they're all in the alley. Looks like Bene are wanting to get a flank on them. So UK's gonna have to respond to this pretty quick. This could be interesting. I wanna see this. Well, they don't wanna stay there, that's for certain. But Ben A just sort of hovering, not really wanting to commit either. Which could be bad, because it's giving UK time to think. Yeah, and UK is pushing it, pushing out now, yeah. Into their own spawn? Yeah, I don't, I don't know why Ben A stopped there. Maybe they didn't think they, they could do it. They're just running now. Just running. And they've actually engaged now, so they're gonna have to take a fight here. Yeah, Tommy Boy almost almost already dead. Yeah. Corey goes the down though. And that's the UK the cavalry gone. The Rue yeah. goes down though. In the meantime, yeah, Black Tide takes out the Rue, yeah. Team kill from Beardface takes out Broomstick. So Osiris goes down. Matilla. Matilla can not work for that crossbow. Because another team, 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 team kill, that's two team kills team for Bene. That's not good. Captain Loss gets a nice headshot on Kai's thing. Oh. 
Yeah, I think yeah. Bene really actually, even though they got themselves into a bad position there, they probably should have had that apart from those team kills. Yeah, it's not over though, it's not over. Yeah, it's 2v3. Bene needs a kill quick. Crazy boys, Ooh, again. takes a hit there. Yeah. Beardface almost dead though, and so is Bitilla. I don't see how they're going to manage to do this. Takes out a uh, crazy boy though. Yeah. Let's see what he can do now. You gotta put him some work now. It's serious work. Oh, Tiller goes down. Or something. Nice weave there. His face jumping around. Yeah, let's see. Oh, he's... Oh. oh. Yeah. Can keep his shield up. That, that wasn't as convincing as Revenant Village. Yeah. The... The Bene crossbows make themselves known, but Leru has gone infantry for some reason. Mm, that's a odd choice to make. That, that is odd. You would really think that they would have him play crossbow, but I don't know. I have no clue what's in the mind of these people. They just charge straight at them, away from the graveyard. They are charging. Yeah. And Bene seems you to want really? to take aggressive moves wherever they can. Oh, another team kill from Kaios on Bidfist. There is a lot of team kills going around now. Mitchell goes Mostly down. Mitchell. And a Borson goes down. Deacon as well, but it's followed by Tommy Boy. Six on yeah. five now in Bene's favour. Oh, but Watley goes down, and a Cyrus does, so it's back in Bene's favour. Crazy Boy and Black Titan. Looks like a Bene round. This is a Bene round, yeah, it's only Captain Lust left. Fighting for his life. Game bump and slash by the room. But Bene needs to start, well, they're pretty far behind, so they've got to win pretty much everything at this point. It's going to be hard. you got to, like, take a note that Rodox would be stronger on this map as well. Yeah, potentially. I mean, a lot of people do like the Vegas, though, for their infantry, even. If there's one they can get scimitars yeah, I, I and stuff. Do. I do love. Ooh. I like Vega infantry. Looks like an equipment good. malfunction, though. Captain Lust without shield. Black Tide decides he doesn't need a shield. <laughs> Takes it back anyway. Yeah. UK sort of hovering, but Bene have just pushed around straight into them. And uh, now going that way. Going around their spawn. UK completely confused by this. Yeah, oh. This is oh, what is Wandering around the javelins. Oh, oh and Tommy goes Tommy down immediately. Nice. Brew trap. What's he takes out Mitchell in the meantime? Bene, the rest of Bene team's coming, but are they gonna be there soon enough before everyone's dead? Black type putting in the mean work right now. Don't know if it's empty skills. Takes out Cyrus. Yeah. And Attila with a team kill on Kaios. These team kills gotta stop. If they wanna come back in this match. Yeah. There's just team kill on team kill on team kill, and they're all headshots. They're all headshots. Barry takes out Beardface. Lost finishes off Broomstick. I mean, hmm. what is it now? Seven. seven it's two? eight three actually. So eight UK is guaranteed to get into the draw at this point. Yeah. So they can just sit back and enjoy the rest of the match. Well, they I mean, they could they could still get to a draw. That's not kind of Benny out yet. Could. But given the uh, yeah, I mean, Benny's just running running it again. I mean, the spawn didn't really give UK anything. But uh, why are they running away now? They're running and now they're running away and now they're trapped. They're they're yeah. Chased by the UK. Yeah, this isn't good for Benny. That's not what you want to be doing, guys. Crazy boys seem to wander off and gonna take on Till and only one. Well, what is there to help him? Fight breaks out. We've got shield stunning. Deep getting fight. stunning. Yeah. Goes down. And good stunning there from Liru. Uh, Watley uh, in a lot of trouble over here. He's gonna go down. <coughs> Till also goes down. Yeah. Captain Lutz does some weird. No, it was a boar son. Doing some weird equipment swap right before you get. Well, crazy boy goes down, so it's Black Tide. It's yeah. now six on four, so heavy uh, Benny advantage. But they really need to start Keep using it. A bit spread out there. The Rue goes down. Down before he goes down. 
Cora goes down, Mitchell goes down. Yeah, it looks like Benet ran now. Oh, Beardface almost died there <laughs> from that kick from Lust. Lust uh, blocking multiple yeah. people at once, just didn't care. That's not fair. Dude, come in, Manjuri, you can do whatever you want. Blocks, though. And Benny just uh, teetering on the edge of defeat here, really. He managed to hold up. Yeah. And we're going on to the fourth set. Uh, I mean, now, yeah? yeah, I mean, Ben is going to have to be like. 85, Ben? No, it should be 84. Can't be 85, can it, after three sets? Oh, yeah, no, we can't, you're right. You better than that than me. Jukin's uh, left now. So it's up to you to three. Nah, Forms is here. Oh yeah, he's here. Yeah, so Benet's right. really gonna have to get everything out for this uh, last set. They're gonna have to put in some work now. Hard work in front of them. Is this live? No, not live. Not lift. <laughs> lift. Uh, yeah, they got some. They got some meat grinding to do if they. They want to stay. It's interesting. I don't know if this is going to reflect their uh, final equipment, but Tommy Boy's taking a dismounted cavalry build. Mm. It's one of my favourites. Oh, LaRue looks like he's playing infantry again. M maybe they just feel they need LaRue as an infantry. Like. He, he, yeah, yeah, he is. He's not about infantry by any stretch of the imagination, but he's so much more valuable. Uh, it's a ranger, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe they have enough rangers though, and they just feel that, you know, yeah, better yeah. off having a. That's. And it's been a strength. They have a lot of rangers, good rangers. Maybe we saw some stuns know, and stuff going on from Benny earlier. That was nice to see. Yeah, Lyru was working heavy with that pike. But the pike is. is so good to stun with. It's yeah. gonna be a lot harder yeah. with a war spear or just a spear. I have to wonder about UK taking out OGL. Uh, yeah. Because he's surely possibly their best ranger or one of the best rangers. He is. You ha still have. Wait, who do you have in actually? You have a Borson as a ranger and Lust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say OGL is their best ranger. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, maybe Tien Spec? Mm. Yeah, so he didn't have to leave. Yeah, well. You could argue with a lot about these team choices, though. I mean. Yeah, well, it's never easy choosing a team when there's a lot more people on the play. Except, especially now, when you do Nations Cup like this, like, you don't. you're not used to it. Yeah. I mean, the UK team seems relatively. Uh, Passive again, I don't they? Yeah, they seem to take a passive approach. They're sitting around in spawn oh, there as well. I don't know whether that was part of some plan that Bene just sort of. Really, like, didn't have all that time though that they wanted. What do you mean? Because Bene was just charging at him. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's like. I mean, it's better, it's better to just prepare yourself in spawn than to move to an alley and maybe get a few stragglers. I reckon. Yeah. It's an old tactic to wait about in the spawn until like uh, some time's gone by and then rush the graveyard after the team's gone in there. Yeah. So I don't know if UK were trying that. Bene is ready. Is UK ready? Yeah, they are. Okay. We're going live in the fourth set. Score is currently 8 4 in the favor of UK. Secured the draw. The tiebreaker, whatever you want to call it. So we're back. So Bene seems to be pushing around into the alley this time. UK hovering around the spawn. Yeah. I don't know if they're doing lots of drops or something. Well, they shouldn't be with Rodoks. No, they shouldn't be. They got cab crossbow, some jabs going around.
Bene wanting to push up here. It's not the best place to push directly. You, you generally want to have like other positions to shoot from. You don't want to have all your team just into this alley. No, uh, that looks weird. You gotta tell on the ladder, shooting at black tide, getting pressure, you know, stop shooting. Captain Lust just on top of the wall. Gonna do work from there, yeah. Black tide seems to be soloing around. Yeah, he's just walking around <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> looks quite funny. But. Bene, I don't, I don't know if they want to like um, push here. They seem to be like cautious again. They seem to be struggling in their decision. They yeah, they, back to yeah. The they've done this a few rounds, haven't they? They've like. Um, yeah, that's what they. That seems to be their their plan to stand in front of your enemy and then walk backwards. Deacon and Black Tide oh, just yeah. all waiting around the corner. A little standoff. Yeah. Mandatory Black Tide waiting behind corners. Is what it does, isn't it? Looking through yeah. the walls in the black side. Hmm. So, I mean, it's going to come down to the flags now, which are in the graveyard. So, it definitely should yeah. benefit UK. Are they going to run into the graveyard, though? That's the question. Well, it kind of looks like they are. Yeah, that could be a mistake. Yeah. But see how well they're defending. Yeah, Benny are getting their ladder up, and UK is going to be in trouble in a minute because they're going to be surrounded. Yeah. I don't know if they're coming out this side either. They're sort of hovering the flag. Oh, oh beard face gets another team another kill. Team kill. <laughs> they are really not wanting these team kills. Oh, and a team kill from UK. Crazy boy can transforms. A couple of Me kills each side though. Yes, he's our Lansing Bambino. Sorry, he's our Woodley. Bene is doing she just a good takes job. out Boston. No. Bene is doing a great job now. Yep. It's 5v2. Captain. They should have this if yeah. they uh, play it right. Gotta be careful of Deacon though. Nah, he's getting, getting pummeled. He's not gonna kill anyone now. And he goes down. Just Osiris left. Another round. For the Bene team. This has got to be tense for either team, because it's like UK Top just want to finish it. Kills. Yeah, probably. Yeah, another team kill. I, I've seen more team kills in this round, or in this match, than I... I don't know, it's just a shit ton of team kills. It's almost like they're playing RG Battlegrounds, isn't it? Almost like that, yeah. <laughs> Almost like they don't care and just do for swag. Like, these headshots that goes into teammates' heads. I don't know, they could just be for swag, dude. They say we we can kill our own team and just win anyway. Yeah, so things are pretty much happening. Oh no, UK's come out uh, yeah. being aggressive. They're just gonna go for it's it now. Done. See if they get set up in this little alley here. What it looks like. UK should be able to push along here though. Yeah, yeah, they got good position now. They got momentum going. And they got Black Tide coming around behind as well. So Benny, a little bit sandwiched. A Borsum goes down, so is a Tiller, 7v7. Dick and Barry goes down. Oh. To LaRue. Really in the round, not pretty. Strong infantry going down. And Captain Lewis and Foms. Ooh, so this has not worked out well for UK at this all. Is a, this is a sweep. They're just collecting heads right now. Bene unchallenged. In this Vega round. Hmm. Black Ted managed to take this that Caesar's horse, which might be critical because he might not be able to go war horse now, but. He's gonna go down anyway. Oh, another team kill! This is. I this think. Is so cringe. I think they might have actually lost an entire round through team kills now, if you add them up. Yeah. You know, you probably have like 8 or 9 now. Yeah, it, possibly. I can't think of it less than 8 team kills, it's probably. Chicken trying to keep his horse alive. I think he's gonna struggle here though, he doesn't have anywhere to go on this map. Oh, he's got passing though. Yeah. He takes a hit, takes a but hit. he's got to stay alive for quite a while. So yeah, he got a lot of running to do. Before. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. Bene have an archer still as well with Caius, so he should be able to hunt him down. Yeah, on my yeah. boy Jab. Yeah. Great effort. So what now, like? <laughs> 
is better you're just gonna collect it in these two rounds and just move on to the, to the next map. I don't know. <laughs> UK, I think it must be. It's an awkward situation for both teams because it's like with Bene, you know, they're sort of like desperate and on, yeah, on the verge. Really but at the same time, UK is like we've already sort of won. You know, they feel like they've yeah, already won yeah. and they don't have like, you know, they're getting frustrated that they haven't won at this point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. UK decided to take the graveyard this time. I mean, they might have been all right when they had the graveyard before when the flag came up. Yeah, but they should have just pushed yeah. them. Yeah, they should have just stayed outside. Yeah. But instead, they ran inside, yeah. and that that's yeah, exactly. always a terrible move because you just get yeah, surrounded. Yeah, I'm unfamiliar with these tactics. I am, but I don't know. Maybe Deacon should just recall something from it because I think we have something there. We do, don't we? We do indeed. Yeah. So Benet got a little bit of a different split up going on. We got a archer yeah. with a tiller. Uh, yeah, that's going to make any sort of push out by UK actually a lot more difficult because they'll be shot in the flank if they're trying to fight outside the graveyard. And Seesaw with his four kills got the warhorse, just for the record. Yeah, that, that's that's actually really that's critical because that warhorse is just monstrous on this map. Yeah, you want to take him out as ASAP. Looks like he had to give up his armor for it though. Because yeah, I think he had like good armor, didn't he, last round? Maybe he had, yeah, but the warhorse, dude. Warhorse. Yeah, it's more important. Yeah, it is. It's like Black Tide's just wanting to do something. Just sort of <laughs> contemplating. He could have given planning. the Warhorse to Tommy Boy though, because he's dismounted Cav and he has great armor. Yeah, but he probably needs the armor and you just end up with a Cav with sort of bad armor on the dude's dismounted then, rather than... Yeah. The armor's the only thing that makes up for being dismounted as Vega, Vega Cavalry. Yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true. Okay, the flags come up in the alley. What are Banner gonna do though? They seem a bit indecisive. They're very indecisive, Benny. They want to get set up here. Uh, That's what they want to do. They've gone to the alley. Yeah, I think. Crossfires. Just wait. I guess they're hoping it'll go down exactly as it did before. I'll have to see if it does. Black Tide behind. Fires is only crossbow shot. Yeah, missed. I think. Benny, quite a way forward. Oh! Captain Lust. Attila goes down. That's crucial. That he had him already up there, ready to. Rain fire down on the UK players. Oh, Black Tide goes down to Caesar. Yeah. Caesar coming behind now. We're in front of that. Oh. Stop, takes a lot of hits, there oh, goes down, down, loses the horse. This looks like a UK round now, it doesn't look great for Benet. Yeah, because 7v6, it's not over. Nah, it's not, over. Nah, it's not but they lost that horse. And they lost that archer. Kaya says doing mean work from up on the. Beardface being very brave here, but I think this might not be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like... Looks Cav coming around. The chicken smash to get the... Uh, what do you call it? Horse? Yeah. yeah. 6v6 now with forms going down. And chicken goes down, that's yeah, a Cav gone. Oh, the Rue goes down there. Yeah. And Tommy Boy. The thing is, there's only 30 seconds left. Can they hold the flag? Because they got the flag really high up. Some UK member got a... Nah. It looks like they it's two versus five now. Twenty seconds. Yeah, they go. Yeah, down. it's gonna go down. Kaius is down. That you can't last twenty seconds. Come on, Kaius, hold on. Mate. Nah, oh, it's impossible. Yeah. And that's the UK win. And that's the win for the UK. So it doesn't go to the draw round. Zilovan <laughs> Strobs, shout out from Beacon. They're gonna play out these rounds, yeah. I assume they'll play the last round, yeah. Are you still streaming it? I'm still streaming it. Alright, this is just the last round. I reckon they're just gonna fuck about. Deacon is just out there. I don't know. <laughs> Zirkin saying something about team kills. Not sure what that was. Yeah. I think everyone in that has seen this match says something about team kills. Yeah. Far too many. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, I should point out Tommy Boy taking this armor here and dismounted like this is the main advantage of that is that he can get four scimitars, which are obviously free for the cavalry. So which means you can armor up all your infantry with scimitars and they can drop shields and do all sorts of nice things. Yeah, yeah. It's just good, isn't it? Yeah. 
You got no athletics, but you really well armored. Deacon and beard face playing out. Dual beard face get bumped to death by a chicken. It's not really much to commentate on now, is it? No, it's just a bit. 3v2. Ooh, the root takes out Deacon. Yeah, great. I have to say, I think Luru took out Deacon as well earlier, so... Mm. Yeah, he might be the better infantry of them. It could be. We got Deacon coming in for an interview? I think so. Yeah. User joined your channel. Hello. Hello. Good day. Alright. So how do you think about this match? Thanks. What do you think? So I'm gonna be honest with you, it was it was pretty easy. Like most of those Benny <laughs> players are very bad in melee. And it was I mean you saw me take them to pieces single handedly on the first We saw you yeah. you died to LaRue a few times, didn't you though? Yeah, that's I mean, really bad at the game. We <laughs> won by then. I mean, it was it was an incredibly easy match. None of them could fight in melee, and I look forward to fighting whoever we're going to fight next because they just won't be able to compete. Possibly the score doesn't quite reflect that, but <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, I felt we we lost the game. Just Leroux, Leroux. Yeah, what was wrong with your fucking archers, dude? Oh, you. I don't know, man. What's wrong with our archers? Just you know, it's you know, people, you know, not playing warband at a decent level. Nah, I'm just kidding. All your players are great. Maps, All your players are good, but why? Yeah, those team kills. That was like me and Asan said that you probably lost like more than a round. We lost three rounds basically, basically, basically just because of two team kills happening every single time. It was it was frustrating. And Deacon can say what he want, but he knows it, and he, sh he knows that you know this match will haunt him in his nightmares tonight. So it's yeah. I'm, I'm just I'm just kidding. It was um it was a pretty close match, wasn't it? Really? Um, yeah, it was. I think. It was a good match. I liked I liked how Benny kind of changed things around as Rodox on the closed map. It was quite clever. Um, I think I don't think we necessarily reacted in the best way, but um, in the end, I think I think fair play. Lust Lust starting to play very well. That helped a lot, and I think um, the Cav they were just picking up quite a lot of kills, particularly on Reverend Village. Yeah, like, your um, kills. your Cav seemed no. quite effective on uh, Reverend Village. I've, yeah, I've got I've, this is probably the best Cav lineup. UK teams had, I think, um, like Cory, Black Tide, and Chicken. It's really, really nasty. Um, Black Tide has some good couches. Yeah, it's definitely. definitely. To be honest, I mean, on paper, it's, this UK team's pr like, certainly one of the best. I mean, it's got the best Rangers it's probably had with like Lust, OGL, yeah. like the Wolfpack guys, Dr. Pepper, and that. I mean, yeah. they put in a lot of work, and I mean, so, so was the infantry that was doing alright as well. So. From what I could see, like, I would say Benet's strength to Rangers, but the Rangers wasn't just doing, they weren't doing work. They weren't doing the work they were yeah. supposed to do. Yeah, I think really. um, that's that's the slight problem, like, particularly on Reverend Village. We, we like, Corey's plan was essentially revolved, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Corey's plan revolved mm -hmm. around shutting down a crossfire, just so their, their key asset, yeah. their Rangers, couldn't yeah. have the same effect, and it worked Sending really well. Sending Lost and Crazy Boy out wide. Yeah, and like once we did that, once you shut down their rangers, I mean they've got like uh, Tommy playing really well as Cav, and yeah. uh, so is um, so was Caesar. But I think we have stronger Cav overall. So w once we close down their archers, it was always going to be a win for us. Yeah, I yeah, thought with, with yeah, keep going. Sorry, I, was going to... I thought with uh, Reverend Village it was interesting because uh, UK was playing very passive, like just getting that split and backing off. And just revolving and sort of avoiding the uh, an engagement, being very kitey basically. Yeah. And then, but you, you at the same time, you only had two rangers and you had three cavalry, whereas Bene was being very, very aggressive and had only two cavalry, which is an unusual thing to take. Yeah, they, they were going for like this. Um, it's quite nice to play against actually. It's kind of almost like what heroes kind of do, where they you do these aggressive kind of moves with your archers to try and mm. set up quick crossfires, but Kind of particularly on a map like Reverend Village, it can like positional play by the other team can just like render it useless, which is what happened in a few other rounds.
Yeah. 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 Honestly, we just it, it was close, and uh, I think we 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 made a couple of <laughs> mistakes, but uh, <laughs> our, we, we could have we could have done better. Like we could have we could have. I'm I'm confident that we could have beaten you. Like we didn't because today you were better, but uh, I think you're probably gonna go on and get. You would have gotten a lot further in tournament. I just like. What, You're what still in there. I mean, lot Canada's there lost, so doesn't it? There so that cost us so many rounds. Like, it was yes. so... If I would have been streaming that, it would have hurt my Warband soul, man. Yeah, I know. You would have been <laughs> screaming and screaming. Yeah, yeah. it's horrible. Yeah, but, I, got, I got a message mid-match from you know, like, what the f... Like, it's yeah, effing and blinding. Like, like, yeah. like, like, just... He weren't, yes, he got team killed yet again. Uh, and he was like, what the fuck is this shit? He was like, oh, shouting. <laughs> like, I haven't seen Bero do that, like, that much, you know? I mean... Uh, it was yeah, frustrating, but okay. Like when you like first, I didn't notice it, but then when you start seeing the pattern, that in every fucking round you had a headshot team kill. Yes. Then it was like it's it so bad. Man. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon no. like due to that and due to probably some other factors, like it just demoral it probably demoralized your whole team, and then you didn't play to your full strength. Yeah, like also that, and plus like. <sighs> The UK like, team basically all has players that are of a very high level. Like the average level is 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 quite high. Like in yeah, the UK, definitely. Uh, and like this is obviously not not any you know. I'm, I'm I I love Benny. Don't get me wrong, but we are we have like a couple of players who are very good, and then you know a couple of players who aren't that good. And I, I think you saw that as well because some of our players just died very fast to you know you know yeah. Deacon as infantry. I think stuff. that was that's something I certainly noticed and tried to take advantage of. Like when you know there's a few players on the opposition team. Like I just went I just made a beeline for I won't name names, but I just made a beeline for a few of their players and I just I mean, knew I'd I'd just demolish them in a one V one. That's what process, happened. Yeah, 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 and it yeah, and it happened. Like, and then, um, something funny in chat right now. Caesar saying, "Normally I love team kills, but this this was unacceptable." Like that sort of sums it up, man. Like yeah, if Caesar you know, says it, then yeah, yeah, if Caesar says it, you know it's true. Yeah. It's actually the the mastery of uh, Corey he kind of created like this magical kind of fear factor, which made Benny play rubbish. So I think it's it's it's, it's actually our ability, not their their failure, really. More uh, than anything. Uh, if you want to think so, then yeah. I just realised how old think... these screenshots are. I've just been looking at the. Uh... These screenshots got playing, and I've taken them off the Nations Cup page, like for the maps. And Sandy Bush still has like fences in the graveyard. I don't even remember fences <laughs> in the graveyard on Sandy Bush. Yeah, me neither. But I want to ask also, Larry, why did you go infantry? Um, because <coughs> I felt I could do more. I think I did do more. Like you guys know me as an archer. Like I, I need targets. I need infantry protecting me. I need you know yeah, gaps yeah. supporting me. And then I can headshot, headshot all day long. But yeah, and that wasn't happening. And then just Tommy was like, you know, okay, man, you know, if you feel like that, like just you know, go infantry, you know. And then I think I I played better as infantry than I, because you know, I'm a decent infantry. I play better as infantry than yeah, I did as archer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know you like, you know, you know, scrub infantry. You're actually good, but like ev everyone val values you so much more as an archer. I said well, on yeah, the yeah. as well. I, I think I'm in. Then they've got gun, strength and depth, though, haven't they, with rangers? So they don't necessarily need, they needed yeah, exactly. Rue. As a melee player, more than they needed them as an archer yeah, because they've already got they those. more as infantry. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think, um, yeah. Shout out to like the Wolfpack guys and that because it's like I, I know some of the other players from IG and A probably get some of the plaudits, but they're playing like like Dots Pepper particularly, like unbelievable. Like particularly against Canada, it was ridiculous, and he's just putting in so much work. So that's yeah. what I quite like about the UK team at the moment. It's certainly not. It's like the team's like strong all over. Yeah, yeah, you have a good team. You're gonna be fighting anyone again now? Or are you done? Well, it's, uh, yeah, we got we got Russia, but we're already through. Like this, this doesn't mean that Bene is out. Like if UK beats Russia, which you know, unless they, as Deacon jokingly said to me earlier, they're gonna lose on purpose to make Bene drop out of the group stage. <laughs> uh, unless they do that, like they're gonna beat them, and and then that would mean that we are true as well, since we have beat them, beat uh, um. Yeah, Greece the default win then, yeah, and then uh, a 1.5 point draw against Canada, so that's good. Because Canada lost to Russia, I think, so. Did yeah, they did, yeah, 11-5. Right. Yes. Yeah. So it was a good match, um, it was quite, I mean, all the smack talk before the match, it was... Yeah, winning good. there was going to be a lot of <laughs> <laughs> got, got into their heads. Yeah, 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 they did a good job. Both teams, like, now I won't say Bene played, like, good, but... You could done a lot better. You played good, but you could done a lot better. Yeah. But UK played fantastically.
I think we did a nice comeback though, coming from six two in in like at the first after the first map we we pulled it back to what ten six. That's you know that's a bit better than we did in the first map. So that's okay. I mean. Yeah, I mean you lost yeah, nine yeah. six, so that's relatively yeah, close. Really. If like, if you lose the first map like ten two uh, six two, like you know there's there's not that much chance of you coming back. You know, I mean. Yeah, it can be difficult. It's pretty yeah. heavy. I thought you were gonna come back then when you had two rounds as Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Sure, like, we were in. shitting bricks. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> it's horrible yeah. to be in the position of uh, having eight eight rounds and sort of you you're almost there. You've got the draw, but you just can't yeah. seem to like finish it. Exactly. Yeah. All right. I... Well, well played to both teams. Good, take care. Yeah. I'll so, wrap things up. I'm, I'm gonna, disconnected from your channel. Oh, well, I was going to give him a virtual handshake, but I'll just hug you guys instead then. You know. uh, I reckon I'll see you later in the day yeah, or tomorrow. Probably. Right? I have a feeling. Thanks for watching.